row with the realest queens Who got peace to part with And they look good to write it And they know what to do with the planting Chase, they ain't shy in the kitchen Real talk, no mission They give words to the cistern And they got that vision They just wanna help a man up in his mission World changes Hello and welcome to Jamelia.com. Now today we are in my kitchen because we're doing a cookery episode and we are working with Bay. If you follow me on social media or you know me in real life, you will know that I am in a very committed relationship with planting. Planting, not plantain. Don't come with none of that nonsense. I love planting. Actually, that's an understatement. I adore planting. And um, today I'm going to show you how to cook it in three different ways because it actually breaks my heart when people say I've never had planting before or I don't know what to do with planting or I've never tasted planting. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to show you three different ways to cook planting. Okay, so first of all, I think it's very important to point out the different stages of planting. Um, okay, so this one here is not ready. It's not ripe enough, which means it's going to be firm and not as sweet. This one is in very good condition. This is great for frying or, um, yeah, using in like more kind of savory type dishes, even though it's sweet. And then this one is going to be extra sweet. I think it's a little bit too much to use in savory cooking and definitely more for like dessert based meals. Let's get cooking. First of all, we're going to start with the planting cake as this is going to take the longest to cook. Taking two medium, very ripe plantains, make a slit along the length of the fruit and then place your thumbs underneath the skin and ease it out. As you can see, this is very different to peeling a banana. Don't try to do it that way. I have, and it doesn't work. Just trust me. Now, once they're both peeled, place them into a bowl and using a potato masher, mash them up. Now, once it's at a rough pure red consistency, it's time to add the vanilla extract and some nutmeg. Now you can buy store-bought, I'm just extra and I prefer it fresh. I'm also adding some cinnamon, some baking powder and coconut oil. With hindsight I should have maybe melted the coconut oil before but it still works. I need to also point out that all ingredients and measurements can be found on my website www.jamelia.com <laughs> And now it's time to add the brown sugar. And mash it up again. All this mashing is very therapeutic I have to say. Now it's time to add the self-raising flour. I added it in two halves just because I didn't want it to go all over the place. I didn't sift it because I was being lazy, but you should. And then I fold it into the mixture. And when it's incorporated, I add the other half. When I'm done mixing, I grease a loaf tin with some coconut oil. Then it's time to place the mixture into the tin. Then put the loaf tin and its contents in the oven at 180 degrees for half an hour. <laughs> that sounded quite professional, didn't it? <laughs> okay, now it's time for us to get started with the planting curry. Here you can see me dicing up some garlic. Right, now I heat some coconut oil up into a pan. I'm going to use it to saute my garlic, onions and pepper. Peppers. 
Right, I do that on a high heat, then I turn the heat down and add my seasonings. I'm adding black pepper, paprika, all-purpose seasoning, and of course, the curry. Yeah, curry powder. And then I add 200 mils of water, and I'm going to leave all of that to simmer while I peel my veg. Starting off with the carrots. Now I put these bite-sized pieces into the mixture. Here's a little tip. To get rid of all your waste and peelings, put your bag on the back of the cupboard and then you can very easily slide all the stuff in and then you don't have to make 10,000 trips to the bin. Right, so I'm peeling my potatoes, yard style, with a knife. Car bad man no use potato peeler. But if you're not a bad man, feel free to use a potato peeler. Now cut the potatoes up into bite-sized pieces and add them to the mixture. Here I'm making an effort to coat all of the pieces in some of the curry sauce. Okay, I'm gonna use half of a sweet potato. Again, peel it and cut it up into bite-sized pieces. it to our mix. Now here you can see that it's reduced down quite a bit so I'm adding another 200 mils of water. And then I'm going to add a stock pot, mix it about a bit, that doesn't sound professional does it, sorry. <laughs> then I bring it to the boil, turn the heat down and place a lid on top for a nice little simmer. Okay, now it's time for the pièce de résistance, which is, of course, the plantain. I showed you how to do this earlier. Make a slit along the length of the plantain. Put your thumbs inside and ease the skin off. Now again, I'm gonna cut my plantain into bite-sized pieces. For this curry, we're using two medium plantain because it's a plantain curry and you want an abundance of plantain. So very carefully add the plant into the mix. As you can see, the pan's getting quite full now. Again, mix it all around and ensure that all of it is coated in some of the juice. I'm going to add another 200 mils of water and also half a can of coconut milk. Again, I bring it to the boil and then I turn the heat on low to medium and replace the lid and leave that to simmer while I take my cake out. <laughs> yeah, so my cake's ready. How do I know it's ready? This is how I know it's ready. I pierce it with a skewer, take out the skewer and the skewer's clean, which means ding ding, it's ready. Okay, now it's time to fry my plantain, which Weirdly is the starter. So yes, I've done this all backwards, but this is effective cookery time management. If you want everything to be hot at the same time, you need to ensure that you cook things at the right time. So in this instance, I have to cook my starter last. Okay, I'm not showing you how to peel the plantain again because you should know by now. I cut it in half and this is a classic way to serve fried plantain. As you can see, it looks quite dangerous. You do get the hang of it. If you are under 15, I would recommend getting an adult to do this. Um, and if you're an adult, please be careful. Okay, so I'm frying the plantain in about an inch of vegetable oil. And as you can see, it's turning a golden brown. This is the longest wait ever because it smells so nice at this point. Oh, I love planting. And yes, so it takes about five to seven minutes. And as you can see, it looks magical when, it, when you take it out. Okay, so I'm tidying up my kitchen. I can't eat in a dirty kitchen. I don't know if that's weird, but yeah, I need to tidy up before I serve. And here I'm serving my plantain curry with rice. And um, I like to serve my dinner out, you know, so it looks nice. I like it to be presentable. I don't know if that's strange. Are any of you like that? I think it's nice. Even if I'm cooking for myself, I kind of arrange it so it looks kind of 
restauranty. Yeah, I'm weird. But I think we've established this. Anyway, it's ready. Voila. So this is actually a magical moment for me. I've made myself a three course meal using my favorite ingredient, plantain. I'm gonna dance all night. So we have fried plantain for the starter. The main is a plantain curry and a plantain cake. Okay, bye. It's time for me to tuck in. But I roll with the realest queens who got peas to part with. And they look good to rot it. And they know what to do with the planting. They know what to do with the planting. Chicks, they ain't shy in the kitchen. Real talk, no, it's it, they give words to the sister. And they got. Now, today's little gem is about courage and bravery. And I am going to allow my girls to take over. Never be afraid to say what you think's right because you could change your life and somebody else's. Oh, I like that. Tiani? So, guys. Be set. Never. But it's not a competition. TT? Okay, Tiani, your turn. Guys, never ever be afraid to be brave. If you feel that something is right or somebody has done something wrong, make sure you address them. Alright. Thanks okay. for watching. Thank you so much for watching. So the motto is <laughs> don't be afraid. Guys, I'm really gonna say don't be afraid to be real. Okay. Three, two, one. Don't, Don't be afraid, afraid to, to be, be brave. brave. Tasha, you were that. I'm not saying that. <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 Love you. Mwah. I roll with the realest queens who got peas to part with. And they look good to rot it. And they know what to do with the planting. Chicks, they ain't shy in the kitchen.